We're going to demonstrate the finishing of a metal aircraft part. Today what we're going to do is we're going to prepare, etch, and prime a used aircraft wing. This particular wing happens to be a Cessna 150 and we're, we're demonstrating using the Stewart Systems products. We have the products laid out that we're going to use today on the table and it's very simple. Now this wing prior to the way that you see it now was stripped using the Stewart System Eco Strip. This is a water-based product that you put on with a brush. You let it uh, stay on the aluminum for approximately a day or, or so you can go a day and a half with it. And at that time any uh, paint that has not peeled up and is ready to easily scrape off, you can remove it using a hot water pressure washer. And so once that's done, this is what we have. This wing is totally stripped and it's ready now for the cleaning and the etching, the priming, and then the painting. So what we're going to do first, we're going to thoroughly clean it using the, the heavy duty cleaner and that's diluted with water about uh, approximately 10 parts of water and one part of the heavy duty cleaner. While that wing is still wet and the parts that are still wet, then we're going to spray our um, E625 aluminum etch on it. We're going to do about a 36 inch square part at a time. We'll rinse it with a towel and a bucket of water. Then we'll move on to the second section until we have the entire wing panel etched. At that time we're going to roll it outside. We're going to, we're going to hand rinse each part as we go with a bucket and, and a towel to get it uh, pretty well rinsed off. But prior to priming we're going to pressure wash it with a cold uh, water pressure washer to make sure that all the etch is completely away from any seams or parts around the rivets. And since there's so very little etch left, we're not going to do anything that will harm the, harm the environment. So, we'll get started in just a couple minutes. The first step is that we need to clean it with our E670 heavy duty cleaner. And so, the only thing we need for that is a, is a spray bottle with it pre-mixed, 10 parts of water, one part of cleaner. We've got a clean bucket and a, a rag. This is a, a terry towel. It's new. It's never been used. It's approximately 18 inches square. Whenever we do a, a cleaning or working on an aircraft part, we always like to have new uh, clean rags that have never been used before. That way we don't we have a chance of not contaminating uh, any part that's going to be under the paint job. What we're going to do is we're going to just lightly spray our heavy duty cleaner onto the aluminum. And what we're going to do is just scrub it, just like washing a car or anything else. And then we're going to just leave it wet and then we're going to come back and put the aluminum etch right on top of the cleaner. What this is going to do is remove any uh, dirt or grease or anything that happens to be on there that you that you missed in the prior part of the cleanup. You can see it's got quite a bit on it. Keep rotating your rag and then as it gets to a certain point then we'll come back and we'll rinse it out and clean it and keep it clean. We want to get this aluminum as clean as we can prior to putting the etch on it. We've got the wing all cleaned with a heavy duty cleaner and now we want to go over it with a clean bucket of water and a new clean rinse rag. We're going to completely rinse it and then we're going to start the etch. You can rinse the, the uh, rag out pretty well as thoroughly as you can. It doesn't have to be real wet. Okay, we finished using the Eco Clean. The next step now is that we have to etch. What we're going to do is put the, the aluminum etch and since this is a used wing we have diluted this one to one. Now if it were a new uh, aluminum wing, new metal, then we would have diluted it two parts of water to one part of the etch. So this is mixed one to one, one part of water, one part of etch. We're going to do a three foot or 36 inch square area, 36 by 36. We're going to use a red scotch bright. We're going to take the, the uh, shine off of the aluminum, give it a good tooth for the primer to stick to. We're going to use a dust particulate mask. Uh, some people find that the uh, etch is a little, uh, it's a little hard on the throat if you breathe it, so the type of mask just keeps you from breathing the vapors in. And I'm going to use 
the nitrile gloves to keep it off of my fingers. You've got a little cut, it'll sting a little bit. It's, it, uh, it's never hurt my skin, but anyway, I've usually got a little cut here and there, so I'm going to use the uh, nitrile gloves. So we'll get started. Okay, we're going to start. Be sure whenever you start a segment, look at your watch because you need to leave the etch on the aluminum at least three minutes. And three to four minutes is fine. Whatever you do, do not let the etch dry on the aluminum. That's the main thing. Keep it wet. And so you want to rinse it before it dries out. Okay, that's, that area is big enough at a time. That's all I want to do because I want to be sure that we don't let it dry. So we're going to keep an eye on it. It takes a minute or two to rough it up and then we only have to let it set for another minute or so. So I'm keeping track of the time here. Okay, it's been about four minutes. We're going to go ahead and rinse it now. We use a nice clean uh, water and a new towel. And so we're going to do about three feet. We're going to uh, rinse it by hand. That'll get the initial rinse before we use a pressure washer. Okay, we'll go right on to the next section. Okay, we'll let that sit for just about a minute. If you'd like, when you're doing an area like this, if you find that the, that the uh, 36 inch square is maybe not quite large enough for you to feel comfortable, you can do a little bit more than that, but just the main thing is to do whatever you're comfortable with. A lot of people, um, 36 inches square is just right. On this particular wing, it's working out pretty close. So just kind of be your own judge. Just do not let it dry out as you're etching. Okay, we've got the first couple bays uh, done, and I want to show you the difference between where it's been etched and where it's not etched. The part you're looking at now has not been etched, and we'll swing around here and let you look at the difference. You can really see, all right, there is a good job of etching. It's nice and clean, and it's ready now. As soon as we get it all done, we'll take it out, pressure wash it, and as soon as it's dry, we're ready to prime it. Pressure washing is a very important step of the final cleaning process on this wing. What it does is allows us to really get between the seams, around the rivets, and all the little nooks and crannies and get all of that acid etch off of that aluminum. Also what it does, it does a real good job of getting that uh, etch and that residue from the Scotch-Brite pad uh, cleaned off of that aluminum. You can see that coming off in this shot. So this is a very important part and so you want to be very thorough in the rinsing of that because uh, the, the better that you do now on this wing, the better that primer is going to stick when we get it inside and start the pr uh, priming process. If you don't have access to a pressure washer, a cold pressure washer, you can use a garden hose and a nozzle and use a real uh, strong stream. Uh, a pretty harsh spray on it will do uh, almost as well. A pressure washer is really the best tool here for this. 